few errands yes this early in the morning and now I'm back home and I'm about to do the dishes from last night it's not that much but um, some of the cups need to be washed on hand the ones that you know we don't put in the dishwasher stuff like that so let me do that just me that's home right now and I'm gonna straighten up the living room it's not a mess but you know pillows are thrown everywhere and blankets are you know see not too bad but still needs to be done and then there's dishes in here that are clean that I need to put away so I'm just gonna do that now Once again, living room is back to normal. It doesn't get too messy, you guys, because I don't have little, little ones running around. The pillows will be thrown across the room and the blankets will be like wherever because even though these are here as decorations, we do use these where the girls use them. And then we have our blankets over there, the thicker blankets in that basket right there. So yeah, living room is clean again. lunch break but it's like it's 10 o'clock so um, I'm eating breakfast and I actually ordered Starbucks today pumpkin spice latte with almond milk because cow's milk is not good for me anymore TMI I know I'm out of coffee y'all so I had to order it I mean I didn't have to I do have the ability to make it the old school way and make a whole pitcher I didn't want to do that because it would have been too much so yeah, you guys, I am completely out. That rarely happens, but yeah, I'm out. So it's much later. I am on my last break of the day. It's almost time to be off. I'm so excited. Y'all, I miss my three-day weekends. I really do. I don't know if you remember when I used to be off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday every week. Yeah, no, I have to work like normal people now. So... A lot has been going on at work, y'all. Maybe a few months ago, I don't know which video, but I told you guys that my office was doing, uh, well, my company was doing reorganization and they laid off some people and we thought that was it. And I still have my job, by the way, thankfully. They laid off some people, we thought that was it. 
you know and the whole thing about us maybe working from home that they weren't going to keep that suite anymore because it was expensive so yesterday someone noticed that our manager her picture and her email was gone and i'm like well if she changed pictures it would show up automatically so we kind of had a feeling but we were like no she's the manager and even though not a lot of people like her, I still didn't think that that was gonna happen. So anyway, long story short, 31 people got laid off yesterday. We were told that our department in revenue was not going to be touched, but four people out of those 31 were from our department. And now it's kind of like, we're kind of like panicking and freaking out because it could have happened to any one of us why they chose the certain people that they did i don't know and then billing manager that was over us i don't know i don't know i'm just thankful that i was not one of the ones that was laid off and then i think about all those other people who i mean they have families and probably kids and bills of course and yeah I just wish them the best of luck. It was just it was just insane because some of the other people, it was like we knew were doing a good job, but they got cut. Yeah. But thankfully, I'm still here. Thank God. And I'm hope that they don't have to go through another round. And yeah, kind of scary. I just know I need to do. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Today after work, you guys, I am going to run a few errands and I am actually going to upgrade my phone. I probably won't get it today because the new phone is on back order because everyone wants it, I guess, I think, is what Cheyenne told me because she ordered hers last week and it still hasn't come in. But y'all, I still have the XS Max. I still have the 10. That's been a long time. For iPhones and you know how iPhones are when one comes out then the one you have starts acting up it's just to the point to where I need another phone my battery life or battery health of my phone it's at about an 82% yeah it's just time y'all so I'm gonna do that and I'll let you guys know what color I will be getting when I get there not when I get there but I'll let you guys know so I took the cover off to show you guys that my phone is still in good condition see those little cracks right there that's actually on the screen protector that's not on the phone itself so i'm gonna trade it in t-mobile has a few deals going on right now so yeah we'll see what they're talking about but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna walk out probably not with a new phone in my hand but a new one ordered okay so i did go to t-mobile come on make up your mind figure out where you're going I did go to T-Mobile and I'm actually just leaving um, what is this place home goods right now but I went to T-Mobile and y'all they wanted almost 550 out the door for the 15 Pro Max that's not happening so I ended up ordering the 14 Pro Max which is basically the same phone she said other than like the camera zoom or something like that which I don't care about all that I just need a new phone you know so are you backing up lady do you realize I'm right here I ended up getting the 15 no the 14 Pro Max and I got it in the natural color so it'll be shipped out and then once they ship it I'll have 30 days to exchanging my old phone that's done I'm happy I'm excited finally get another phone after all these years because y'all I don't get the new phone every time it comes out I know some people do and if the people who do do that then more power to them but I don't know once my phone gets old then I'll get a new phone so and it's me personally I mean I'm not gonna knock people who get a new phone every time one comes out but me personally I don't see the point because especially if your phone is working fine I don't know that's just me I don't have to have the newest latest greatest thing and so 
yeah anyway oh so out the door i only paid like two something with taxes like maybe like 220 or something like that for the 14 pro max way better than 550 that wasn't happening so yeah and i went to home goods the only thing i got there some new pillows because it was time for me to have some new pillows on my bed and now I'm about to go to Walmart and then after that then I might go to Target but yeah on my way to Walmart right now just to okay y'all sliding around on my way to Walmart just to get a few household needs you guys so I made it back home and I'm in my dining room Ooh, there we go I'm in my dining room and there are two lights out this fixture is actually dimmable so <laughs> when i bought the new lights to put in a while ago because three went out in one day so i bought three and i didn't realize i had soft white in there and i got day white so it was a mixture of both let me show you it dims dimmer switches over here on this wall so yeah, let me show you guys. I don't know if you will be able to tell. But two are out. And this is the soft white over here. And this is the like daylight white. <laughs> so I'm going to get up there and I'm, I'm just going to actually swap them all out. And actually, I may just leave those in there and put the rest daylight and then put those away. But while I'm up there, I'm going to dust because I don't get up there very often. And this fixture is quite dusty. So let's change these light switch while I, not light switch, but light bulbs while I'm feeling the need to do it right now. Because if I sit down and start relaxing, it won't get done till tomorrow. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, very bright. I like it. And let's make sure the dimmer switch is working. Well, let's make sure this is working. Oh yeah, back in business y'all. It's super bright. I really like it. So now that everything works, now I gotta get back up on the ladder and dust everything off. Okay, everything's dusted and the lights are in and yeah, I bought two boxes of lights. I didn't need to for four bulbs. This was $20, y'all. And I bought two of them. So, I guess I'll just save this for when those go out. I can have the spare. When did light bulbs get so expensive? I remember when I was a kid, they were not this much. And even when I had my first apartment when I was 19 years old, I remember going by light bulbs for like a single light bulb. It was like a dollar. Yeah. But y'all gotta realize I'm 51, so that was many, many years ago. All right, I'm gonna go get in the shower. And the girls are not here. They actually was leaving as I got home because they're going to a church function for people in their age group. And it's, I've told you guys about this before. It's a church service, but afterwards they have what's called like a hyphen night or something like that where they hang out and, you know, just have fun. So that's what they are doing. And it's just me right now. So I'm going to take a shower and grab something to eat after I'm done and just relax. Yeah, I'm excited because it's been so long since I've had a new phone and my girls have gone through, I think, two phones each since I've had my same phone. Because like, like I told you guys, I, just because a new iPhone comes out, I don't have to have it. If my phone is still working properly, I'm not going to spend all that extra money to get it. And my phone's been paid off a long time. So um, yeah, I'm just paying for the service. Well, which now I'm going to pay for a new phone and service. So, all right, you guys, let me go do what I have to do because I am tired and my coffee station is filled up again guys yay good morning it is Saturday and I'm on my way to at home I've only been there once when they first came to this location just to see what they had and I don't even think I bought anything from them I don't think I did or maybe I bought something small I was just checking them out you know whatever 
So I'm going there again today and at home it's kind of like, to me it's a mixture of Hobby Lobby and Home Goods and those stores like that. So that's what I'm doing right now. And the girls actually went out to brunch with some of their friends from last night, even though they hung out last night as well. But today they're going, you guys may slide, okay? Because I'm going around this curb and I'm kind of speeding. Okay, so anyways, some of their friends from the Bay Area, which they don't get to see that often, so they're going to brunch with them today before their Bay Area friends head back out home. So that's what they're doing. And I don't really have nothing planned today, y'all. Just go and see if I can find something. Okay, slow your roll. See if I can find something today. I don't know, I just get irritated when people do stupid stuff while they're driving and you put others at risk. I'm talking about stupid, crazy maneuvering in and out of cars and going 80 down a regular street. That's insane to me. Anyway, I'm gonna go on a little tangent. Okay, I'll see you guys when I get at home. Okay, it's much later and I was actually going to show you guys everything that I got at at home but I'm saving it for um, it's part of my bedroom so you guys will see that in a later video but anyway this I did get and it's just like this candle holder and I think it's really cute um, how much was this um, I think it was about $11. It was 25% off. And then I just got some of the little tea light candles to go in here. So when I do decorate for fall, which should be in a few days, I will put that up. But yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys this. If you can see it. Yeah. I barely have been on my phone today. And it's at 22%. I used it a little bit. Or 23%. Yeah, it's at 23%. So I used it a little bit when I was at, at home. But okay, that was so I am going to change the wax that's in here. I have to let it melt a little bit before I can take it out. But this one is pumpkin pie and it's lost its scent. So now I'm going to change it to the maple buttered rum. This smells so good. So yeah, um, after like maybe 10 minutes, I can get this off after it melts. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes, maybe less than that, and now it's melted enough for me to remove it, so I'm, I'm just going to take this and throw it away. 
But also, before I put the new stuff in, I'm gonna clean this out because it's been a minute. Okay, nice and clean again. So I'm just gonna take two of the wax melts and let it do its job. All it needs is two, otherwise it'll be too full. But yeah, my house is gonna start smelling good. Good morning, it is Wednesday. And nope, it's not Wednesday, it is Tuesday. I'm jumping ahead. I want this week to be over with so bad because I only have a four day work week. I am off Friday and Monday. Um, not for holiday, I took off for those days. Anyway, so my phone, y'all, is on the delivery truck. It should be delivered today. It says before by 7 p.m. I'm hoping it comes way before then because I need to get the T-Mobile tonight, have them do what they need to do. That way I can have my job add in. I think I told you guys, when we work from home, we have the remote in on our phones. They need to do that to the new phone. And <clears throat> if for some reason I don't get my phone early enough today, then I will wait another week because I'm not going into work when I don't have to. So it says loaded on the delivery truck. So it doesn't say out for delivery yet, but I'm hoping that status will change soon. So yeah, but it's coming. And I didn't show you guys, but I did go to the accessory store and I'm sorry. I, I did go to the accessory store and I got a case for it. Oh, so someone I know that I was around over the weekend contacted COVID and I was in that person's breathing their air in their face and whatever. So when I found out yesterday, I took a test and I tested negative and tested again today and I tested negative. So that's a good thing. I feel fine, but I will test again before I go into work tomorrow just to make sure. But I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. But we wanna be sure just in case. Y'all, look what I just got. And I'm on my last break, so I can't really do anything with it until after I get off of work. And y'all, the new iPhones don't come with the br charging brick anymore, just the charging cord. Wow, Apple, really? You're really trying to milk as much money from us as you can. These are already expensive. Oh my goodness. It is my Friday today. I haven't said that in a while. I am off tomorrow. Um... Today is Thursday, happy Thursday. It's been a few days since I last vlogged, but let me show you guys my phone now that everything is all set up. Okay, I have it on this kitchen towel because I do have a case for it. Look at this, you guys, isn't it so cute? And I just got space black. I've never had a black phone, but I really don't care about the color most of the time, except I don't like gold because half the time, most of the time, I have a case on my phone so yeah I have that and it's just so cute you guys I am enjoying my phone so I just need to go to get a screen protector and I didn't do that while I was at T-Mobile I should have because if you pay a little bit more then if something happens to it then you know they'll replace it for free under the warranty or whatever so I may just do that but it's like 15, 20 bucks at the accessory store. So yeah, anyway, so yeah, I'm excited. I got my phone, I'm really liking it. After I had my little conniption fit about having to buy a brick. So I did buy that at T-Mobile, it's 20 bucks. So I did that, I guess, cause I looked it up on YouTube and I guess Apple tried to say that for the newer phones now, everyone could use the same charger that they used for the one before which I get that because they were saying, you know, because who's going to use the old one? Okay, true. I get that. However, I had the 10. So you seen I went from the 10 to the 14. I should have had a free charger. Yeah. So anyway, that's just my little rant about that. But y'all, so every day I've been testing myself for COVID just to make sure I was okay and I've tested negative every single day but it's funny because I'm like I'm going out of town tomorrow and it would absolutely suck if I was sick I'd be so upset so every day since Monday I've been testing myself so Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then today pretty sure I'm fine I will test myself again tomorrow through my insurance at 
Kaiser, I get COVID test free. So that's the reason why it doesn't matter if I take one and use them all up. Cause I can just get more. Okay, you guys, so I am going to end the video here. Um, I don't even know what's all on it, but yeah, I still have to pack and we're only going for one day so I only need the overnight bag so nothing major but anyway I just want to get this video edited and uploaded that way you guys can have something because y'all know I don't I don't get videos out there often yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys soon mm -hmm.